Hey YouTube, so I'm back again with another little video for you. Um, I'm really into energy harvesting, uh, whatever form that comes in, and, uh, and all kinds of little energy generation things, and so I bought some little solar panels, and you know what? Now that I found my, um, my old camera, I figured now is a perfect time to be able to actually show off some of it, because I can actually film my phone. <laughs> so... Uh, what we'll be using is we'll be using this uh, program called DevCheck, and then as you can see here, uh, oh, well, you could see if my phone would focus, but um, hang on, let's see if I can get it to focus here. No, it's not going to focus in. Anyway, it's at about forty-six percent, so there's plenty of headroom uh, to be able to do some little charging experiments. And I've got this fun little program here loaded on my phone called DevCheck. So it lets me see uh, what my phone is currently doing in terms of the frequency that it's running at and how much power it's using. So like uh, right now, you can see that my phone is currently sitting at um, 1,056 milliamp hours. And uh, this is uh, my total phone capacity is significantly down from my um, capacity rated by the system. But, uh, you know, that is that is what it is. This is getting to be an older phone now as it's a Google Pixel 4a. Um, anyway, so I've got this little solar panel here that I picked up from uh, from Amazon. It's got the USB port on the back of it. And, uh, of course, they rated this to be a relatively powerful solar panel. Like, uh, this is supposed to be, I believe, a 2.5 or a 2.5 watt solar panel. Um, but, you know, let's see what happens uh, sitting here uh, when we plug the USB in the bottom. So, plug it in the bottom. Now, right away, uh, we can see that the, the phone is still in the discharging state. And uh, this is because we are not really pulling enough power. Uh, even if we did have the voltage, we're not pulling enough power to be able to offset the, um, the current usage of the phone. Now, if I stick this inside of the sunlight uh, over here, you can see that we are now charging. So, and we have a charging current of 101, uh, or yeah, about 100 milliamps uh, for a net charging of 0 0.4 watts. And uh, something that's kind of cool is if we come and we come closer to the window and we actually uh, take this, so we uh, currently we're at discharging we take this and we stick this directly in the window, now we can see a much better uh, charging current. So here we have a net charge of, uh, I don't know if you can see that in the video or not, but uh, I'm reading about 137, 134 milliamps, um, about half a watt. Uh, but the most important thing to me is that it's a net power input. So a little panel like this, if you were out and you were going um, with, uh, you know, say in the car or something like that, and you wanted to make sure your phone could stay charged, well, this little solar panel here, which is 188 millimeters, so 18 and a half centimeters by uh, 7.85 centimeters, or uh, this is enough uh, that you would be able to keep your phone charged while you were on your road trip. Uh, now, I also wanted to make something that was a little bit more useful. So over here, uh, I have these two solar panels that are, uh, they're square panels. Uh, they're different in size, and I had put them together in parallel. And here, we'll plug this in. So you can see that the phone is discharging. It's using about negative, negative 100, negative 200, negative 85. So probably around an average of like uh, 
losing about 120 milliamps uh, of current um, as it's discharging running the phone. So let's plug her in. And now we can see we're getting a charging current. You know, maybe if I put it down here. Yeah, there we go. So now we can see that we've got a charge of about one watt, 1.2, one and a half. So about, uh, about one and a half watts of net charging going into the phone. So just, just like that, we can, uh, we can sustain our portable electronics with just a little bit of, uh, a little bit of solar. And I think this is something that's worth doing. I'm definitely going to be bringing these devices with me the next time I go on a road trip because it's going to be an easy way to sustain the kids' tablets while they play in the back seat. And, and then for myself, well, my vehicle only has one USB port in it, and usually, uh, because one phone is busy doing the navigation, the other phone is kind of whoever's sitting in the passenger seat, well, your phone's just kind of dying. <laughs> So um, definitely with the next time we have to do uh, a road trip like going down to Toronto, which takes 10 hours for us, for sure, for sure, I am going to be bringing uh, this along with me. Because uh, having that little charge is well worth it. Well, well worth it. Anyway, I think that's it for this video, YouTube. We'll see you next time.